Hey, what's up guys? Mike back with another video. So, before I can crack on, let's like, get this box open and I'll show you exactly what these speakers look like. These are called the AV32s. These are like studio grade audio speakers. They're not the most high end. They only carry like a three inch woofer and a one inch tweeter. Now, your other option, instead of going for the AV32s, would be to go for something like the KRK Rockets. Now, the G3 Rockets, they might be around £40 more, but they do have a five inch woofer. Now, for the extra £40, £50, you get to adjust the frequency response. There's dials on the back of those so if you want to spend a little bit more maybe check those out link for it will be in the video description but inside the box are uh, some silicon we don't need that and some cable I've actually decided to scrap those cables and I've actually bought some other cables uh, I can't remember what they're called I think they're called prime wire there you go here's the speaker itself we'll get it all unpacked and then we'll try and set it up and I'll play some uh, audio tracks on YouTube that test frequency and response and different kinds of uh, music. Now, I'm going to be particularly using them to reference my audio on the video as I'm recording. So that's my purpose, but they're also great just for listening to music. Along with the speakers and the cable, I bought myself a DAC. Now, this is the Aventree DAC, very popular on Amazon, and this will help eliminate any kind of noise pickup from the PC to the speaker if you were to directly plug them in. Now, let me just give you a little bit of information now for maximum flexibility. What they've done here with the AV32s, they have included a stereo auxiliary input, which allows you to plug in a secondary audio source, as you can see, instead of just your main RCA inputs that you can see on the back. The volume control works on all inputs simultaneously. Additionally, the stereo headphone output next to the audio jack at the front mutes the sound coming out of the speaker and redirects it to your headphone, which is really handy. Now it's time to say bye bye to the Logitech Z200s. Now these are absolutely amazing PC speakers on a budget. Now ideally you want to have your speakers around between two and three feet, if possible up to a meter away from each other, and you want to have it in like an equilateral triangle. This is the Aventry DAC that I bought. Now what I'm going to do is run the uh, audio and the cables through this into the PC, so you get a couple of bits of whatever um, looks like a thank you card and this thing's nice this thing's really compact and it's got this full aluminium skin on it and it's absolutely it does look premium a headphone jack on the front and a small LED light as well uh, going round to the rear what you see is got your micro USB to charge your optical interface to connect it to your PC and you got your aux in there as well so all great stuff very simple and you know what it looks pretty cool too so before you start work, get all your cables together, get the instruction manuals just in case you hit a snag. So it's pretty easy to set up. Now you're going to have your optical cable. The optical cable will go from your PC to your DAC, your DAC to your speakers. So that's like the daisy chain that we're going to set up. So the first thing you want to do is unravel the optical cable. Uh, hopefully this looks pretty decent. Take off the uh, little plastic rubber tip. Don't try and ram that into the back of your computer. It's not going to do anything, but just in case, don't do it. So plug that in to the DAC route it cable put it into the back of the PC now before you route all your cables and cable manage it maybe want to take a little bit of time just to plug it all in and see if it works so now we're going to hook up our DAC to the prime wire cable that I bought as you can see I bought a 1.5 meter cable which is exactly pretty much the size of my desk so these are joined together don't split don't just rip them apart like the cheap cables these are nice thick shielded cables so you're going to plug white and the red cables into the back of the DAC and then into the back of the master speaker unit which I think on these AV32s as I'm voicing over this video is the left hand side so as plug it all in so you've got your optical cable into the DAC into the PC your cable from the back of the DAC into the speaker and then if you want you can run like an auxiliary cable from the front of the speaker into like a mobile phone um, or any other device that you want to actually Play the audio out of. We are nearing the end of the project. Now last but not least, take your speaker cable, run it from the left speaker into the right speaker by pressing down on the two tabs at the back of the speaker and you're done. So guys, it's time to test. Now what I'm going to do is I've got YouTube up with some high quality audio. I'm going to try and position my Blue Yeti microphone at around head level so my ears will be the microphone if you will the speakers are going to go at around 25 percent i'm going to move the pop filter away i'm going to have the microphone set on omnidirectional uh, instead of just cardioid which is what i usually record with on my voiceovers like this so now what i'm going to do is start playing this file oh, nope let me just adjust the volume first at 
around 25% and we're going to listen to uh, this instrumental file, then a sweeping motion and a left and right audio test coming up. We're finishing fine style on Radio X with your best of British every Sunday afternoon. Ash shining light into the verve and sonnet into a bend of this. Step on. Left channel, 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 right 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 channel, left 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 channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, right channel. Was it worth it? By all means, 100% it was worth it. If this is all your budget can stretch to, by all means, this is a great setup and it's very functional. An audio interface would have been, full on audio interface would have been nice, but this is a massive upgrade from a Logitech Z200. Um, links for all the products will be in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, be sure to subscribe, and thank you for watching.